Hey there, y'all. I'm D, and let's play some cards, y'all. Libra and Pisces, y'all might be going through some similar things or uh, be going through the things together. So let's see what's going on for Libra and Pisces. What signs might be relevant? Taurus, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Leo. So Leo and Pisces. Another Leo might be relevant, or there's just a lot of extra Leo energy. Someone likes a lot of attention. All right, so what did I say I was doing? Leo and Pisces. The cards I already know, so it doesn't matter. And it's not personal, so it really doesn't matter. All right, Leo and Pisces. What are y'all doing? Let's check it out. Leo questioning something or questioning someone, whether uh, uh, their motives, maybe. Not questioning the weather, but questioning motives. Angel of Balance. Uh, Sagittarius is at the bottom of the deck here. And so, you know, something may have to do with that or the Libra just flew the fuck out. I don't know which balance that one is, but they're both about balance. So, you know, and they're interchangeable depending on uh, what country you buy your cards in, I guess. So the angel of balance. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, alchemy. Being centered in self-honoring. She's got wings. She knows that the shit's going to come. Self-preservation. You know, like, I, I, I made it, I, I've, I've, look at this, it's so very special. Whatever this magic is that she's holding, it is like priceless. She's proud of herself, she's done a good job. She's been doing this stuff forever and ever and ever. Wasn't I saying the other day something about the Holy Trinity here? One, two, three pyramids. All right, oh, and there's that, what, oh, there's that card that says, why, 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 why? What are the motives? What are the people doing? There's a lot of questions here. Also about the book, the Akashic Records and things here. Uh, I don't know, maybe somebody wants to know why and what this person is doing. There's some um, attachment. Oh, Metatron's poking out. Orphan, people are feeling left out, lost, lonely. There's some sort of codependency. There's some sort of toxic something or other. An identity crisis here. Um, but that does not sound like this. This, this. this sounds exactly the opposite of what the fuck I was just saying here. And this is feminine energy. Uh, Archangel Ariel it also has to do with children, animals, the outside, and creativity, art, and like uh, intimacy, pregnancy, shit like that. Next card, please. Teachability, flexible. We still have the attachment at the bottom of the deck here. This is about remaining open-minded and teachable, be, having the ability to zig and zag. When you know you've got to move and it's time to move, it's time to move. Also can be a little um, hangman-y, you know, with the, the, the aha moment and the change in perspective here, a different way of looking at uh, something. Anywho, carry on, carry on. High Priestess, or in this case, the Goddess of the Moon here, Divine Feminine, somebody that is divinely guided. Peace, radical acceptance. Somebody is peace, I don't know. People need peace. There's so much grief and loss and sorrow and oh, I just, I just closed the door on the chaos. Just saying, so, you know, there's that. Let's see what's going on here. The, 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 this person, the high priestess, there's secrets. Somebody knows something about some secrets. Some of them also know something about some secrets here. Somebody's intuition is a, a light, I guess. Give me some cards. When I let go of who I am, I become what I might be. I told you this person is very proud of all the things that they have become, that they have done. And it's like can't put a price tag on it you can't i don't know people are looking at it too trust your gut uh yeah what did i say about the gut thing here so somebody that your intuition is just like screaming at you to do something to go somewhere to call someone i don't know what it is it's probably different for everyone it's a new camera place so you know and it's funny i was just walking up the stairs a little while ago and I, I heard that in my head. How do you solve a problem like Maria? If anyone knows what that quote is from, then we know that Maria was the awesome part of 
the whole set. So somebody's trying to do harm to a good person, to a light soul maybe. I just said that. Okay, just said that. I just have a deck in my hand. Y'all saw me shuffling the shit. It's not like I had that ready. Uh, light, light magic. Somebody is of the light. Ah, oh, peace, yet again. Yeah. Cooperation, teaching, God, um, somebody's aura, you just can't. People don't even know why they see things, why they're look at why they looking at things, why they can't help look at things. They're like, I really don't like this, but I keep looking at it. Somebody is a healer, uh, a creator, a, I don't know, a creator, whatever that is. I mean, that could be so many things, but the creativity here. Can I have another card, please? Thank you. Two things prevent us from happiness, living in the past and observing the future. The only place to live is the here and the now, right and today. Y'all, we could drop dead tomorrow and what the fuck, we can't do anything about yesterday. And when the people are mad and sad about the things, you gotta do something to change it or else you're just gonna be mad and sad about the things. It's terrible. Happiness lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creative effort. So, you know, it's not the same old, same old. Somebody might have to get creative in order to like go up to someone or confront someone. I I'm not sure where we're going here. Your life doesn't get better by chance. It gets better by change. Failure to prepare is preparing to fail. Red flags, karma. That's more red flags, y'all. Pay attention. Lesson, lesson, lesson. So let's dig in. That five of wands, conflict and strife with people. Right back in. All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Let's see. What's up with the angel of balance? Balance. That's fucking funny, actually. It's like uh, you give this person something to do, and they're they're going to juggle it make it work and still get there i don't know someone's trying to fuck someone up throw a roadblock in i don't know it's hard to throw this person off they just all right smooth not smooth talker smooth i don't know cool as a cucumber i guess can i have another one Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. So there's a lot of nostalgia and past energy around here. These are both very past energy. Something could be going on with children, with the whole family, with the hot chakra, with new love, a new beginning in family stuff. Or somebody could be pregnant here or someone could have lost a baby. I don't know. Because there is all these imbalances here. But and someone is always keeping their cool with the loss and the sorrow and the regret and the baggage and the burden feeling having to do with the past and the children and the nostalgia and the fucking memories that are all this imbalance here. The sun. Someone could definitely uh, want someone to see something clearly, Nine of Pentacles, like from a distance, like, will you look at me? Why can't you see me? Why won't you see me? And it's like because you shut yourself off for so long. Or well, what the fuck is there to look at? So, I don't know. There's some sort of separation here. And people are wondering why. Why, why, why. But the people aren't talking about it. So, you can only, you can only imagine what goes through the brains of people here. Eight of Cups. Sounds like some sort of made-up story somewhere. This is moving on. See, that's what I'm saying. Somebody is looking around here. They're all regretful and sorry and maybe even acting immature, stuck living in the past, ready to move forward here. Somebody maybe has seen the light or is being pushed by the light or pushed by God or this Leo is heading towards you or you and a Leo. I don't even know how this is all going here. So I'll take it as it resonates. Uh, this could be an Aries or it could be also Leo, the star. Someone wants to heal. Like, I, I just can't anymore. These are both healing cards. Somebody has been sick here. The whole thing may be sickening. It could be a lot of quiet, silent treatment with the four of swords, but the star says that there is love, peace, joy, healing, reconciliation, a recognition, 
something maybe at nighttime and the higher things like well fuck yeah because i've been poking the people and telling them they better fucking shape up or shape out <sighs> so it sounds like um and the hierophant could be God. I've already mentioned it. And if God's not your man, then the universe, whatever, Mother Earth, Gaia, whatever the fuck you call it here. We all live in a fishbowl, submarine, whatever. It's all together a collectively, collective journey. Nine of Swords. It's really stressful. What a nightmare. I don't know how to apologize. What am I going to say? I don't know. But I'm sick of dealing with this. And I really don't care about your apology. Like, what's there even left to talk about? Uh, what's Ariel doing here? Creativity, intimacy, uh, feminine energy really is what it is. It's receptive. Like I said, somebody could be pregnant. The chariot. So where's someone going? Heading straight for a feminine? Or a feminine's heading straight for someone? Uh, Eight of Swords. This, I don't know, people got people all confused. Somebody definitely wants to talk here about this Ace of Cups that I already talked about. Having to do with justice or an injustice or a Libra. This is messages, text messages, also travel and movement about a fight or somebody's bringing up a fight or somebody's stuck on some fight or somebody has been defeated here, Eight of Swords, and the fight's still carrying on. This is before Tarot, so it's like the the actual tower hasn't happened yet. <clears throat> so where's the chariot going, please? Here with this one. Five of Wands. Did motherfucking pick a fight. Five of Pentacles. That's a lot of fives. That means some shit has to change. It will change. Undoubtedly change. Um, and this Queen of Pentacles, the High Priestess, maybe a um, few Pisces here or Capricorn. But the secrets and the withholding of them. And I think think that this is maybe another woman or a mother figure or something like that. I do not like this Queen of Pentacles, okay? She's been bopping around lately. It's not like I like the energy. But whomever I keep picking up on that is running in and out of people's re readings, it's an energy. It wears different faces, y'all. Uh, she's not a nice woman, okay? Five of Pentacles, five of Wands, like I said. That's the wrong column. So there's some sort of message or messenger here about forward movement, about traveling towards an, a, a feminine or a child traveling. I don't know. So whatever. After some loss, after being orphaned or someone's getting left behind because of all these people, has happened, will happen. I don't know. But the things are important right now and there's a message about it. The King of Pentacles. Somebody could be splitting up. Or have already split up. And maybe that's why there's all the, these fives out here. The people. There's some sort of disagreement. In the masses. In the family. Or I don't know. Not agreeable. What's the flexible part? With the teaching. And the learning. Ace of Wands. Be flexible to move. To zig and zag. Whenever. That's what that is. That is moving. Okay. So. There's some sort of investment here. Where they're. Ooh. You like really focused on it, right? Working hard, putting the time, the effort in, the things growing. You're starting to see the shits come out here. And then Koblamo. Four of Pentacles. You get stopped in your tracks or something's missing or I don't know. Maybe someone's asking you to remain open about how you're going about doing the things here or somebody wants you to work with someone. But I'll tell you what, uh, this is, whatever this is, that's a lot of pentacles. There's a six of pentacles too, but the fool's in the middle of it. So something to do with child, children, new journey, new income, new, it's a leveling up, but it comes at some sort of cost here or it has come at some sort of cost. Oh my God. All right, what's the Ace of Wands? Temperance, Balance, Alchemy, King of Swords. So Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius. What else we got out here? I think that was it over there. The Sun, we know Leo, you're here because we're talking about you. Uh, and that is Cancer. And so the, the King of Swords could be any air sign. 
Um, but the whole truth and nothing but the truth, something is a uh, whack here. And I don't know, I just feel like um, someone might end up getting their head cut off. It's the devil, okay? Maybe there's someone that you've been avoiding or someone's avoiding someone with the zigging and zagging and the new beginnings and the passion and the clarity to say the things that need to be said in order to balance out a situation or like, you know, I don't know, head over heart. I understand. I can see all the things and uh, you know what this, what this King of Swords sees is the devil which is codependence or there's some Capricorn around, right? But um, somebody's like stuck somewhere. It's like you get the, the new beginning is here and the zigging and the zagging and the talking about it and stuff, but then the devil could be a block too. Or somebody's trying to do something about the how do you solve a problem like Maria, like the flex, the flexibility of the thing. You can't get a hold of someone. Someone can't grab someone. They're like the wind. It's not the Ace of Swords, but Ace, Wands, Movement, whatever. The enlightenment of it, like just the knowledge, the seeing, the looking, the watching, obsessively watching. I mean, why do the people obsessively watch? I don't get it. King of Pentacles. Maybe a man is obsessively watching. Definitely could be some Capricorn. Yeah. Uh, this is Scorpio, but... Any earth sign or somebody's part watching a partner, an ex-partner here, somebody's ooh, I don't know. This is a lot of love right here with the Queen of Cups and the Lovers card. It's unconditional love. It's also receiving. Um mm -mm -mm. psychic intuition. Somebody is watching somebody at work, like possibly build a business and level up, be their own boss. Someone's talking about wanting to communicate here with someone and the devil is telling the dolphin, absolutely fucking not. What is that? And there's that Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor. Three of Swords. People are um, having conversations here behind closed doors. And people are very upset because it looks like some shit's going to uh, blow up in somebody's face here. What's uh, the Goddess of the Moon? Queen of Wands. There you are, Leo. Seven of Cups, the Magician. Maybe you feel like you're being manipulated or that someone don't want, someone doesn't want you to see something or you don't want someone to see something. But the Seven of Cups is, um, it's all smoke and mirrors. Like some shit just ain't right around here, okay? Someone wants you to, not, please don't see, don't look, don't go over there, don't do that, don't pick that option. But I feel like by not pick, picking the option is the failure to prepare part. And so the confidence and the communication here to go ahead, do the soul searching. And I don't know, somebody needs to talk to someone, a queen of swords, the king and the queen of swords. If not, maybe it's a partner of people, uh, two different air signs, or, you know, I already, well, who the fuck knows? But that's Aquarius. This is Virgo. That's the higher fin. Taurus, Aries, but kind of everyone. So there is like a lot of manipulation here, especially uh, with the Seven of Cups, because that is a lot of feelings, okay? And I feel like the head over the heart and the thing, somebody isn't isn't that feeling kind of person. And so, you know, I feel like the way that you are wanting to send the messages and approach the person here, and it may be a father figure or somebody that is very stable, boss-like, father-like, masculine. Somebody's afraid to confront them somebody's got a lack of maturity here eight of swords and a tower 
So all the, all, all, all the manipulation and shit that's been going on and the people have been thinking about it and now the hermit's like, no, no, no. Well, we, we gotta come out of this, Eight of Swords. Like, I cannot, the tower, we have got to blow this shit up. It has to stop. We need to communicate better, differently. The Hierophant is about learning, doing the right thing, leveling up, you know, like we know better. Somebody knows better, or maybe they just don't. All right, keep it going. Shit, what did I say, Mother Gaia? So she's around here, wanting everybody to just be nice, y'all, just be nice. Can't we all just get along? King of Pentacles, Capricorn, the devil is like, oh no, no we can't, okay? A masculine. So, power, masculine power, devil, pride, ego. Oh, we're gonna put that back because those two together, not so cool. And there's the Scorpio, Queen of Cups, also could be you, you know what I mean? But that's death. Something's gotta come to an end here. So, and as far as the Gaia, Mother, uh, Earth card, Fertility, practicality, balancing, more balancing, uh, balancing between the inner and the outer worlds, grounded, uh, purpose. All right, what, what else about this? Prosperity. King of Swords, somebody definitely could be an air sign. This person could be an air sign. This person is justice, Mother Gaia with the karma and the things like that. Creative effort. Uh, taking a leap of faith, moving on, not worrying about the things. How it's going to get there, how someone is, is just not unfucking bothered is what it looks like. So what? So what? It says a change in direction. That's easy peasy. Like no big deal. transitioning in the moving that says pregnancy too just saying okay so uh that's a thing arriving and departing restless people definitely they feel like they need to do something about this um broken heart y'all i don't know whatever the sadness is somebody wants to have peace they need to walk away and exchange and work with people but there's so many options and things to do and the people keep getting in the way of the other people they're like no don't do that. Don't, don't, don't go there. You don't know what they have over there. Well, you know, there's a blossoming abundance behind that card. But if you go over here, there is a windfall of money, God, and a fucking spiritual purpose. So, you know, someone's got a choice to make here having to do with the past. Stay, keep living in it or change entirely. The tower... So standing alone, powerful hierarchy, because somebody has been led to a place. This is this person is um, the matriarch, the patriarch, whatever the fuck. Somebody is the head of the shits here. Someone also is like really high vibrational. Corporations, legal system. The experiences have brought this person to the place and space that they are. There's a lot of legal stuff out here. Also, the lighthouse. This is like, whoo, a safe passage. Plot a course of action and use tact and diplomacy. So, you know, I don't know. Somebody has learned a lot of lessons. They let a, a lot of lessons via like rivalry and shits like that. They learn to move on from it, break free, the hermit, heal from it, and become stronger with the moose all because of the things so what's up with ariel i tried to catch it a birth of a daughter is what that says uh, a vibrant happy abundant life good health and balance 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 which is coming true so manifesting the things you want from a space of love here the tower you want change because there's too much chaos the things are a mess here wanting to fix them with the uh, deeply committed manifest what you just, this literally says that. Manifest deep desire. Reawaken lost hopes, all in for what you love, all in for what you love. I can't talk today or any day lately. Maturity, so the people are growing up, they're changing, their hearts changing, the time has changed, the heart and the past scenarios and the way that people communicate. What's this flexibility? 
Uh, yeah, again, the ability to move when you need to move. Um, but also the, the staying grounded enough to even know and see the things. There's a lot of duty out here, too, to teach people. Um, something tangible is definitely going to be showing up, like, right in front of your face. It wants to travel towards you or you want to travel towards it. Uh, multiple choice. It requires somebody to make a choice. And other, the other people are like, you're crazy. Don't go do this here. Mama bear. Uh, boss, judgy, judgmental, <clears throat> protective, protected, affluent, and strong finances. And so, mm -mm -mm. there's the devil again. There's Leo. An agreement and a pact, closure. People, they need closure here. There's a contract out here. It's like a partnership. People have not been very trustworthy and maybe they're trying to make up for that. That says yes, Leo as well. Uh, there's a huge plot, climax. Aquarius and the star, the queen of swords with allow trust divine timing here, the Akashic records and source energy. So omnipresent, the thing has been present forever in life force energy. You're being pushed, they're being pushed, the people are being pushed to heal. Uh, the higher fin, definitely want people to do the right thing and, and, and play nice here with uh, the goddess of the moon and, and the secrets and the gnosis and the in between the outer worlds and the Akashic records. People, it's all karma. If we don't figure it out this lifetime, you come back and figure it out next lifetime. So, you know, so people are so stubborn here. Soulmates and friends and peers and shits do the right thing as far as it comes to the people, uh, them, Queen of Swords. So, I mean, Queen of Pentacles. I was saying Capricorn, but could be Taurus as well. And that has come out. Ooh, trust your gut. Because people are hiding things. The squirrel also talks about um, be prepared for anything and scolding and lip service. So people aren't being totally honest. They want to have a, a conversation about it. And somebody doesn't really like somebody around here very much at all. They're going to ruin everything here. Age as well. The transformation. The family legacy of all the shits here. Oh, I just saw the rivalry poking out. All right, let's have a look. Let's see. Insane person. People just get so miserable that other people are happy. I don't know. People think people are crazy as well. But who cares? Forced commitment, paranoid, delusion, people are losing their motherfucking marbles, or people think this person's crazy, or, or eccentricity is what it says. Therapy, therapist, poverty after a loss. What did I say about the person losing the things and making the way anyways? There's a lot of work out here. Somebody has worked really motherfucking hard to like get out of date debt or remove themselves from desperation here. People think they're better than other people. Somebody's definitely watching somebody at work. Someone thinks they're pulling the fucking strings here. Whomever this drama, the behind the curtain, the fucking Shakespeare shit, the warring uh, tribes for the families and stuff. And I hurt you and you hurt me. And what the fuck is going on? No. Ego. And this is a hidden representation, a misrepresentation. Oh, so like the Wizard of Oz. Someone thinks they, they or this woman, think they have all the answers and it's not this one. It's a completely, a completely different one. Oh, I knew it. I wish that these cards would just play nice for one day. This says murder, which is also revenge. This person may have been tried to have been killed, literally. Like, somebody really dislikes someone. They have tried to hurt them behind the scenes here. Somebody's stuck in all their ego and shit, wanting to punish somebody for something. A secret life. Or secretly wanting to punish someone for some sort of addictions or... Um, I don't know. It's a vigilante. Y'all, we all sin. If you think your sins are any less sinful than mine, you are sadly mistaken. And so that's where the universe, Metatron, and Michael, and your higher power, whomever, whatever, come in. Uh, yeah, spacecraft. 
everyone, all the planets, all, all, all on board an anonymous threat. Somebody's about to learn some shits real quickly. And maybe it's not quickly enough about the secret society and the things that are going on that you really can't see. Because if you knew what you really couldn't see, then there'd be a lot more people afraid. Oh, I don't believe in ghosts. Well, maybe you should. Well, I don't believe in the devil. Uh, you absolutely should. He has a job to do. He's here all the time and he's collecting more than ever. So, just saying. You know, mass panic, terrorism, is wars, fire. This is a motherfucking tower too, okay? So, you know, it is shocking maybe to see what a feminine is doing or what somebody's come up with or gotten out of. And a Freemason, what else does this say? I need my glasses on. The hidden power of the Illuminati here. A lot of secrets. A lot of secrets. And the paranoia about the things. About the ghost, about the space. You mean that shit's real? Yes. Yes, it's all real. It's been real the whole motherfucking time. <sighs> desire. There's the devil right there. Lust, desire, and sell your soul. You can win, live any old way you want, right? But in the end is when we get judged. I said war and tribes. This card literally came out. The card at four. Where's the fucking, where does it say it? Not that you can read it backwards, but maybe you can. It's right at the bottom. Warring tribes also says war conspiracy theories i mean you mean this person's been right all along uh, yeah yeah they have they've been right about all the shit the faded events the snakes the slimy the counterproductive behavior with the men and the people wanting to control things the narcissism and all that shit this person the confession all oh, someone's gonna have to fucking like tail between their legs here so somebody could be backed by the universe here. Um, people need to know who they are or understand something about something. This is also spying. Uh, this could be some sort of reconciliation or it's just the power of this, whatever the fuck this is over here with the superpowers in the myths. It's not a myth. Yeah, what did I say? You mean it's all right? Yes, yes, myth. The devil really does exist, okay? He has a job to do. And it's to fucking trip people up because he's a trickster and to collect souls and so that's what he's gonna do so watch out for the children and why watch out because they're living in the fucking matrix here and if you haven't seen the movie matrix look who's right behind the children the people are very susceptible here to um not a good life in the future if they don't pay attention and snap the fuck out of it here the world is in danger we're all in danger and with that, I'm going to leave it. That says explosion. It says war, terrorism, and a bunch of other shitty ass shit. So you can fill in the blanks for all that shitty ass shit, okay? With the people getting away with crime and stuff, wanting to blow the things up and out to get you here. Because, I don't know, the Americans and the people, they're very important. So whatever's happening inside your house is happening outside your house. It's happening at work, at your friend's work, every motherfucking place. A complete and utter breakdown of all the systems. And look at the tin, tin man with the heart, you know? that's for us to do and uh not for other people to do for us fuck you want somebody else's no 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 watch out for uh, crazy people it's crazy times here so until next time toodaloo that is all i have